lovely people, my name is Nicole, and it's the end of another month, and therefore time for a book haul. I bought a lot of books this month. Um, I feel like I actually have like a legitimate reason though. I started getting paid for my job, and so obviously I had to celebrate, and the best way to celebrate is by going on Amazon and buying like 12 books in one order? That's that's normal, right? No? No? Just me? Okay. The other reason is that I I work in the same mall as a half price. And and I tend to walk through there on my way into my job. And sometimes they have hardcovers of books that I already have. And like, you, you guys know me, you know how much I love my books to match and be pretty on my shelves. I should be more ashamed about this than I actually am, but I think I have more repurchases of books that I already had than just like new books. Actually, okay, I think it's about equal, but it's a lot. So let's just get that group of books out of the way first. I'll just mention them real quick. Um, so the first one is The Entirety of the Boss series by Abigail Barnett. This is the one that I had the ebooks of and I love this series. It's basically like her inspiration for the series was Fifty Shades but a healthy relationship. And it's so, so good. And I only had the ebooks and so I, I had money. So I bought the physical copies. Because I don't, I'm not a huge ebook person. I don't like reading ebooks. I much prefer reading physical copies, and and so, and so I bought them. Next is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, and this is one I haven't read it, but I had a paperback, and my sister was going through her books, and she had a hardcover, and I'm like, hey, want to trade? Because she doesn't really care about hardcover versus paperback. In fact, I think she actually might prefer paperback a bit. And so she traded me, and I still haven't read it, but I have the pretty hardcover now. And then, this is a series that literally every single time I go into half price books, I specifically check to see if they have hardcovers, because I have like half the series in hardcover, and the rest in paperback, and it really, really, really annoys me, and that is Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. I found the first book in hardcover, and so now I just need Frostbite and Shadow Kiss in hardcover, and then I have all the Vampire Academy books in hardcover. It makes me so happy. And then speaking of Rochelle Mead, I also found Bloodlines in hardcover because I used to only have Bloodlines and Golden Lily in paperback, and all the rest in hardcover, and again, it really, really, really annoyed me, and so now I just need to find Golden Lily in hardcover, and then I'll have a beautiful matching set. And then I found Daughter of Spoken Bone in hardcover, and this, the hardcover is just so pretty. And the paperback had that annoying like red line because like the front cover was shorter than the like second page and I hate that so much. And then to finish off this uh, series of books that I probably shouldn't have bought, uh, Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. Again, this is one I had the rest of the series in, in hardcover and just the first book in paperback so I saw it in half price and just picked it up. So but now, now I have the whole series. And it's so satisfying. <laughs> All right, on to books I don't have to feel guilty about buying. So first, I have Jerkbait by Mia Seagert. And this is about a boy whose twin brother has always been sort of the star of the show. He's the best player on their hockey team. He's their parents' favorite. He's the most popular guy in school. And our main character, he's, you know, he's not unpopular, but he's a little bit shyer. He plays hockey, but only because his dad really wants him to. He much prefers musical theater. And then one day his twin brother tries to commit suicide and parents try and cover it up and then he tries again and again and basically their parents are like, okay, you are going to babysit your brother and make sure that he doesn't try anything else. Um, make sure he stays safe. And him and his brother have never really gotten along because they're so different. Uh, and so they sort of have to deal with getting to know each other and then his brother comes out as gay and there's a whole backlash in the school about that and lots of talking about like bullying and the pressure that like professional sports puts on people 
and sexuality and family. Um, although I do, I have read this and I do want to give a trigger warning. Uh, obviously in the description it talks about suicide attempts so there is a lot of that. There's also a lot of underage drinking, some drug use, and then also uh, some content relating to sexual assault. Nothing that's ever super explicitly described but it is in there. Um, also a lot of like homophobia, homophobic language, slurs, that kind of thing. Then I got Gina Finn by Hannah Moskowitz and Kat Helgeson and this is about two girls who meet online via fandom. Uh, they're both in a fandom for a show that seems kind of like a Vampire Diaries meets Supernatural meets a little bit of like Brooklyn Nine-Nine thrown in there kind of show. So they meet online via this fandom and they become fast friends but they are super super different people. One of them is kind of shy and like her fandom life does not at all interact with her everyday life. Her boyfriend like doesn't even know about it. And so while she's into the fandom, it doesn't really take over her whole life and the other girl is very much involved in the fandom. She's very much involved in the fandom drama and she writes fix and like everyone in her life knows this about her. And so it's about them becoming friends and it's all told through blog posts and text messages and chats, things like that because their entire friendship is online. Then I got the entirety of the Captive Prince trilogy by C.S. Packet, Packet, I don't know, I'm sorry. Um, this is about a king. This is about two dueling countries who have been at war for years and they've sort of always been rivals uh, but they finally reached a peace but one day the crown prince of one of the countries is kidnapped and sold into slavery given to the crown prince of the other country. Then I got The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han and this is a contemporary romance. I love Jenny Han's other books so I decided to pick this one up. This is about a girl named Belly who goes to the same beach to stay every single summer and there are cute boys and I think there's some kind of like love triangle love square which I'm a little apprehensive about but I trust Jenny Han. Then I got The Only Thing Worse Than Me Is You by Lily Anderson and this is about a girl who is top of her class except for one guy and they've always had sort of this academic rivalry. But when their best friends start dating, they have to sort of have a tentative truce that slowly blossoms into a friendship. Um, and I'm hoping it's kind of a hate to love kind of thing. I'm guessing that's where it's going, just because that tends to be where these kinds of things go. Uh, I'm hoping because I love those kinds of relationships. Uh, and I also know it also has a lot of like geek culture in it. In the description it mentions that the main character is really into like Doctor Who and comics and things like that so I'm definitely excited to read this. Then I got You Know Me Well by Nina LaCour and David Levithan and this combination of authors. I almost died when I heard this is my dream team. I love both of these authors with all my heart and it makes me so happy that they wrote a book together and it is about a lesbian and a gay guy who go to the same school but have never really interacted with each other but they sort of meet up by chance uh, one night during Pride Month and become friends and they're both dealing with their own relationship issues. He's in love with his best friend who seems like he's actually to getting a new boyfriend and she's in love with her best friend's cousin who she's never actually met and there's just it's it's great there's so much great friendship and obviously I've already read this because I read it like the second I got it I don't so I don't want to say too much in this because I'll talk about it in my wrap up but it's so good and guys go pick it up like immediately and it also like it takes place during Ride, and it just made me so happy and it's so good. And then I got Summer of Supernovas by Darcy Woods and this is about a girl whose family is very into astrology but she's always sort of shied away from the love aspects of that until one day she finds a rare planetary alignment that forces her to confront it and then she falls for a boy who maybe is not who she should be falling for. I don't know. I wanted a cute summery romance so I found this in Barnes and Noble and picked it up and I'm hoping it's just cute and fluffy and wonderful. Then I got Otherbound by Corrine Davis and this is about two people who are from two different worlds but they can see through each other's eyes or at the very least the guy can see through the girl's eyes and one day they learn to communicate with each other. Um, 
And that's really all I know other than uh, I've heard that it's really really good and that one of the main characters is bisexual. I mean if you know me then you know that literally just hearing a main character is bisexual is enough reason for me to pick up a book. So case in point. <laughs> then I just got something today, the day that I'm filming, probably not the day that this will go up because I'm bad at this. Saga Volume 6. If you have not read Saga, read it. Read it. Read it, like, right now. It's a comic book series. It's a space opera. It's sort of a Romeo and Juliet type setup, except Romeo and Juliet didn't commit double suicide and instead they had a baby and also they're aliens. It's amazing. And this is the sixth volume and I'm so happy to finally have it. I'm gonna read it literally like as soon as I turn off the camera. And then I got a couple of different poetry collections and I don't know too much about any of these. I was just browsing through Barnes & Noble's poetry section and these looked good. First, uh, Whiskey, Words, and a Shovel, number two by R.H. Sin. Then Dark Sparkler by Amber Tamblin. Then Plume by Kathleen Flanagan. All right, so those are all the books I got this month. Let me know if you've read any of these and which one I should pick up next in the comments. I'm already ashamed of how much money I spent on books that I technically already own, so don't be too mean to me. Um, I know I have a problem. I am fully aware of this. I'm dealing with it. Okay. Uh, I love you and I'll see you later. Bye!